Hey guys, what's up? I'm Logan. We're going to be doing a collection update for my knives today. I've tried to show off each and every one of these knives in an unboxing video or whatever, but I'm sure there's a couple that have gotten through without you guys noticing. I want to give you the opportunity to know what I've got at any point in time. So without further ado, I will get started. We're going to go folding knives, multi-tools, fixed blades from smallest to largest. So starting down here, a little Victorinox and a little Evite clone, and a CRKT Mount Shasta, Gerber Mini Paraframe, a K-Bar slip joint, Boker slip joint, bigger Victorinox, two Boker AK-74s, Buck Folding Hunter, Spyderco Centafonte 3, CRKT Ripple, Blade Show Edition, the CRKT Notorious, AKC Tactical Leverletto and a Gerber Profile. I'll take you guys and show you the uh, larger folders I've got. Alright, starting at the bottom again, we got the butterfly knife that Chad made for me. Cold Steel Aluminum Tie Light. Spyderco Velotin Sub Hilt. CRKT M16 Operation Enduring Freedom. And Spyderco Resilience wearing the zip tie modification. Um, Moving on to multi-tools. Before multi-tools really quick, somehow I left this out of large folding knives, Cold Steel AK-47. One of my favorite folders. Moving on to multi-tools. Moving on to multi-tools, otherwise known as the Leatherman portion of the collection. The Leatherman Sidekick, Leatherman Skeletool, and Leatherman Juice. Um, moving on to fixed blades. So for fixed blades, we got my uh, little titanium ARS dog tag. It's attack, rescue, survive. The little K-Bar, Archeron, Shirion, whatever, I don't have to pronounce it right if you don't use real words. My Daho Survivor, CRKT Dragon Claw, which is discontinued for some reason. The uh, Gerber Steadfast. My Buck Nighthawk, which I was wondering why that was discontinued. It's because they made it into a collaboration with Tops, which I will have to buy and review. Um, and my K-Bar Zombie Killer Famine model. So as you guys can see from the collection video, I can go through catalogs and tell you guys what looks good to me and what I like, but I think my money speaks the loudest and what I've bought so far. And uh, namely, that would be Spyderco, Cold Steel, CRKT, and uh, a little bit of Gerber and Leatherman for multi-tools, so, and K-Bar. Um, so there's that. Um, I know the slip joints I had, I could have put those in with multi-tools, I preferred not to. I just did the multi-tools that have pliers on board. Um, anyway, this is my collection of knives as of right now. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, anything that you guys want to see a review of, let me know and I'll put it on top of my list to make a review of. Uh, we appreciate your feedback and everything. Stay tuned for more of the same.